Good morning, good morning, good morning. Boy, did I have a rough night last night. Obviously, you guys saw I went out to dinner and stuff. I didn't close out that last vlog just because dinner was just such a good time. And, you know, I try not to break up good times with filming. Uh, I like to stay present as much as possible. But anyway, here we are. I say that last night was a rough one because Shepard here, as we're on our walk, would not stop moving and whining and crying and he was going through it last night i think it was like his stomach or he was just uncomfortable i don't know like mind you i got home around like 11 45 ish no probably like closer to 11 30 and then hopped in the shower and stuff him and Tosh were both knocked out so i was like okay cool i'll like crawl into bed i'll go to sleep everything be fine the minute I get in the bed, fussing, didn't stop. Like from at least 12 to three, it was like, I was trying to sleep, but I could never like fully go to sleep because he would just be moving and uncomfortable. So I'm trying to pick him up, trying to put him in different directions. It was a lot. And that's the part of parenting that like, I think a lot of people talk about when they're like, oh, how's your sleep? Like, cause there are nights like that. For some people that's like every night, but for, for us, with Shepard, it's not like that every night. So I was really getting into a groove and a routine with him. And last night he was just like, yeah, nah, we good off all that. Anyway, started a new day today. I'm a little tired. I did not get up at five and go to the gym, obviously. Um, but I am gonna go to the gym later today. So she has like a call at like 10. So after her call, I'm gonna go to the gym and then have more events tonight, which I'm grateful for. It's freeze week, which is an art week have a bunch of different exhibitions and events and stuff surrounding that. So Freeze is in LA right now. And that's why the Vans event was there and all these other things. But yeah, should be a fun one. Got myself some peanut butter, banana on top of, or some honey on top for breakfast. And realizing that putting a video out every day is uh, definitely not for the faint of heart. Like all of my spare time is spent editing. All right, guys, we're about to give Shepard some applesauce. This is his first time having real food. Don't judge us, we don't have a baby spoon yet. Don't also judge my looks. I was woken up at 4 a.m. by a baby who would not go back to bed. Come here, Pop. Come on. You gotta turn this music off. It's giving me a laundry. Come on, Papa. Applesauce time. Ooh. Ah, not your hands. How's it taste? Yeah, it's good. You like it? You didn't even try it. You didn't even try it. Try it. Tell me that's how it looks. Oh, that's fire. You're not even trying it. He's just now tasting it. This is an interesting station. Why are you looking at us like that? <laughs> Do you like it? And don't we have a little sax where you can? Oh yes. Be right back. Okay, okay, okay. We got some action if we want to do it himself. All right. Well, we tried. He doesn't want it to leave. No, we'll try it every day. They said just a little bit at a time. Oh, is it really? Yeah, because he has to get used to it. All he's had is milk for eight months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we tried. I think he liked it, but he's got to get used to it. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he has yet. Right? I know you like all the colors, but we're worried about the contents, not the packaging, sir. We just got a crazy big delivery from Cybex. Huge shout out to Cybex. That's the stroller brand that, that we use when Shepard and I go for walks. FedEx just dropped it off, but like, I hope this isn't heavy because I don't know if I have the energy for that right now. I'm so tired today. I don't know what's going on. But I am really burnt out. It's not that heavy actually. Um, based on the story I gave you guys earlier, I, I really didn't sleep, but 
Yeah, I feel pretty beat down. The boy is fried crispy. And no, that does not mean I'm high. Me and my 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 brother Aaron, we use those terms when we're tired, like burnt, fried, cooked. When we're tired, that's what we say. So I'm all three of those things. Burnt, fried, and cooked right now. Just had a stressful like last 30 minutes to an hour. Just really was just finished talking to my wife about some projects and things that I want to do and things that I want to work on and stuff. And she gave me some really important insight for me personally. And I think that you guys could definitely take value in this. Uh, and what she said to me was that I'm not trusting God enough with the vision that he's given me. And because of that, I'm feeling or thinking that I need other people to help me to get to that promise. And the promise that God gave me, although I do need assistance, I don't need help in the way that I've been desiring it or looking for it. And that reigns true in a lot of different areas in my life, especially creatively, with my clothing brand, uh, with projects that I haven't started yet, with a lot of things. I, I don't trust myself creatively with the tools that he's given me and the resources that he's given me and the talent that he's given me. And I instead am led to believe that I need help. And honestly, what's been a good telltale for me right now in believing and trusting in God, I got a crazy pimple on my head, is honestly doing this vlog series and just putting in the work and the effort with the resources that I currently have to make sure that I'm producing content. and. Right now, all I'm focused on doing is producing content, producing content, producing content, producing content. And I know that that's what God has placed on my heart and given me the talent and the resources to do. So that's what I'm focused on right now. I really am so grateful for my wife because she saw my level of stress and she said, honey, go hop on your motorcycle, clear your mind, go somewhere, get some work done. Listen to like, make yourself available and give yourself space to listen to God. Because she believes in everything that, I, that I'm doing and everything that my heart is postured towards. And she also believes in what God has placed on her heart and told her about me. So right now I am going to do that. I'm gonna go to Soul House, which is where I work out. Um, I'm gonna do some work and then I just have to make sure that I'm home in time for this call that she has. So let's get the day going. Side note, this is my motorcycle. My dad was gracious enough to give it to me. I'm about to go ride to show a house, which is only like 15 minutes away, but 15 minutes on a motorcycle does a lot for me. Made it to show a house. Ran over to Maru and got me a hot matcha because the matcha so how sucks. But fortunately, I can't bring it inside so how so I have to finish up and drink it. All right, just got back home and I got beef with so how sometimes, bro, because so many rules, man, about laptops and stuff. Like I was working fine because I sat outside and stuff, but then I needed to charge and. There just aren't a lot of outlets in the outside space where I was sitting. I couldn't record anything so you guys couldn't see that, but there just weren't any like outlets available. So I went inside and then all the seats were taken, like there's nowhere to sit. And then all the seats that were open that I could have sat in to charge my laptop to keep working, you know, they're like, oh, we don't allow laptops at the bar. Oh, we don't allow laptops on this floor. Oh, we don't, oh, we can't come in this room because we're about to have a meeting. It's like, bruh, like, it's always something. And it's just like, this gets really frustrating there sometimes. It's just like, I just wanna be able to do my work. Like it's a Wednesday afternoon. Why can't I sit at the bar and do work on my laptop? There's nobody sitting at the bar at all. Like I can see if the bar was full or there's people there or like after six o'clock or something, you know, like, cause people maybe wanna come there after work and have drinks, but it's just so annoying and it's just like, it's the little things like that that make me like question whether I want to still be a member, but I'm not going to get rid of my membership anytime soon, but it, it is like really annoying and really frustrating. But anyway, came back home because Telsha needed me here by three o'clock. 
my spirits are definitely uplifted. Definitely excited to get to work on these projects and things that I have in my heart. All right, guys, getting ready for the Stone Island event. I have one event before that, but I don't have the time to come home and change. So I'm trying to figure out my fit right now, which I kind of like this. I was going to button up just the top and leave it open, the bottom open like that. But I'm thinking about putting on an extra layer, which would be this. So let me see what that looks like. We can go like this, right? And then put the orange stony top. Let me see if I get some extra light in here. That helped a little bit, but oh, I got you. Bam, there we go. So, that's what we're thinking. That's what he's thinking. The amount of work I have to do to keep this open. The amount of work you have to do to keep this open? Oh, God, it's just such a hard task. Oh, he's trying to show off his leg. This would be the vibe. I always scrunch the socks, man. Stray socks. Straight side like this, not the move. Always gotta give them a little sag. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so this is where we would be for the evening, which I kind of like, actually. You know, it's a vibe, it's chill. It's definitely different than any how anybody else would show up and pull up. I think it feels cohesive, but like I mentioned, this one is probably never gonna be seen, so I think I am gonna just put a t-shirt on instead of the button up so that I break down the layers just a little bit. Unless I just wear this open, which I don't really want to do. I wear it open, I do it like that. Actually, open might be the vibe. Yeah, maybe I just wear it open. I like the buttons. I like just seeing like three layers of buttons. So I'm gonna close this how I just had it before. Just leave the bottom open and then boom, keep the top layer open. Another evening in Los Angeles. Welcome to Freeze Week. Uh, tune into a lot of events and festives for the rest of the week, but tonight's gonna be lit. probably the best event that we've been to also because not only that we knew a lot of people but our friend kitty was djing she's from new york she lives out here now but is a great dj she always plays the best music so once she got on the sticks it was like oh we having fun we're home and uh i'm gonna close this out and see you guys in the next one peace